Good morning, Hampton Academy Sharks. I'm Anthony. And I'm Victor. Today is Friday, October 28, 2022. Today is a B-Day. This week, we are featuring a new teacher interview. A segment about the PEE's most valued player. And information about the Thanksgiving food drive. Anyone interested in working in or on stage crew should pick up materials in the cafeteria starting on Monday, October 31st. Stage crew for Frosty the Snowman will begin on Thursday, November 3rd. Dance, dance, dance. Dance tickets are $5 and will be on sale at all lunches next week. The theme is Fall Enchanted Forest. Friday, November 4th from 7 to 9 p.m. The Hampton County Dining Hall. School rules are, and policies are to be followed and students must have a ride to and from the dance. No walking or biking. There will be a raffle for gather. Students that bring in non-expired canned food will receive a raffle ticket to be entered to win some awesome prizes. They will be randomly drawn throughout the dance. Snacks and bottled water will be for sale. Every item is $1. There will be a photo booth. Students can order their photos from the photo booth for $1 each for print a printed photo. Tickets are $5 and will be on sale next week from Monday to Thursday during lunches. It's that time of year. Time for those who would like to support our troops to sacrifice some Halloween candy for, the, for a noble cause. The candy will be shipped to service members located in harm's way. Last year, students and our community donated over 500 pounds. We received many thanks in form of notes, emails, informing us that we made them smile and they're certainly appreciated knowing that people were supporting them afar. Attached is just one example that will, that will be collection bins in Mrs. Frost's room if anyone would like to donate. Thanks in advance. Thursday, November 3rd, is a picture retake day. Here is this week's recycling tips. In the quest to be a recycler grew, grew, you may be tempered to recycle every little thing you can, but small pieces like bottle caps, shed, or tiny pieces of paper can and tabs can get stuck in the recycling process. When, when in doubt, do the credit card test. If it's bigger than a credit card, then it can be thrown in the recycling bin. If it's smaller, toss it in the trash. This week, Sabrina had a chance to find out a little bit about the new Phys Ed MVP award. Take a look at what she found out. Good morning, Hampton Academy Sharks. I'm here with Kelly and Anthony, who are the student MVP of the month. So Kelly, what do you have to do to become a student MVP? Um, so basically, you just have to have a positive attitude and play all the games correctly and include everybody in the PE games. And then Mrs. Morrissey will um, choose two students from each grade to become the PE MVP of the month. And what did you do, do to earn the student MVP? Um, I guess I came in with a positive attitude and played the games and um, passed to all my teammates. And Anthony, what is some ways that students can become a student MVP? Well, some ways that students can become a PE MVP is they can just do the stuff that's on the board, be positive, have fun, just try your best, all that stuff. Thank you for being on, thank you for being on Trick News. Thank, thank you. you for having us. Xavier was able to speak with the staff member who is new to Hampton Academy this year. Check it out. Good morning, Hampton Academy Sharks. I'm with here. I'm here with our new seven Hampton math teacher, Mrs. Lundquist. Good morning, Z. Good morning. Um, how long? What? Where did you teach before Hampton Academy? I was at Bedford High School. Although I've taken several years out of the classroom to raise my family, so I'm back. How long have you been teaching for? Um, this is my fourth year in the classroom, but I've spent about 20 years tutoring and uh, doing other things in the math field. What are you excited about for this coming year at Hampton Academy? 
I'm really excited to get to continue to know the um, students of Hampton Academy, um, but I'm also, I'm pretty excited about our new shark block uh, next trimester. Uh, I have some good things planned for them and I'm excited to see where it takes us. That's really cool. Thank you for being on Shark News. Thanks, Z. This week we had the opportunity to speak with some student council members about the Thanksgiving food drive. Take a look. Good morning, Hampton Academy Sharks. Today I'm with two student council, Jocelyn and Annika. Can you tell me about the food drive? When is it taking place and where can people bring the food? Um, the food drive started this past Monday and goes till November 18th. And you can put the food in any of the cardboard boxes in your homeroom. Okay, who does the food drive benefit? Um, families can sign up to get a Thanksgiving food basket and it benefits all the families who can't afford a Thanksgiving meal. Okay, let's take a look at what items people can bring. Can you tell me about the weighing that will happen at the end of the food drive? The food drive is a contest between all the homerooms and whoever, whatever homeroom brings in the most and has the heaviest amount will win. Okay, thank you for being on Shark News. Thank you. Thank you. On Friday, October 21st, 8th grade band members joined the Winnicunit High School marching band as they cheered on the Warriors in their last home game. Students were able to hang out with the band, play some fun songs, and watch the Winnicunit High School halftime show. It was a great night of fun and football. Please check out these pictures and videos from the event. This week, 6th grade students have been at Camp Maravitza for an environmental camp. Shark News members who are on the trip did some interviews while there. We will have a full segment on environmental school when they get back, but we do have a few pictures to show you today. Take a look.
Okay. Lunch will be barbecue riblet sandwich, broccoli, cheese sauce, baby bananas, and milk. You may also purchase an ice cream surprise. Mm-mm. That lunch sounds yummy, yummy. And now for the weather. Today we have mainly sunny skies. High temperature today will be 63 degrees. Saturday it will be mostly sunny and 59 degrees. On Sunday it will be sunny along with a few clouds. High temperature will be 60 degrees. This week we have one weather photo sent in. It was sent in by Mrs. McNichol. It's called Students Visiting Beaver Dam at Environmental Camp. You can send your weather photos into sharknews at sau90.org. And remember to remain sunny side up! Shark News broke their record this week. It usually takes us from 2.30 to 4 to produce the segments that you see today. Today it only took us 45 minutes and we were done at 3.15. There are no birthdays today or this weekend, so celebrate the amazing you! Our fact of the day is something for you to guess and is a fact about our environment. How many sea animals do you think are killed by plastic bags and other plastic garbage each year? October 28th sets aside National First Responders Day to honor the men and women who act quickly when an emergency is at hand. So today, if you see a policeman, firefighter, paramedic, or first responder, please thank them for what they do. Our thought of the night is from Franklin D. Roosevelt, who was the 32nd president of the United States, he said, A nation that destroys its soils destroys itself. Forests are the lungs of our land, purifying the air and giving fresh strength to our people. Franklin, Franklin D. Roosevelt. What do mummies listen to on Halloween? I don't know what. Rap music. <laughs> our answer to the fact of the day is this. Plastic bags and other plastic garbage ends up in the ocean, killing over one million sea animals every year. Remember, before you speak, text, chat, or post, ask, ask yourself. Is it kind? Is it true? And is it necessary? And remember the Academy way. Manage yourself. Act responsibly. And respect yourself and others. Go out there and make it a great day. Woohoo!